Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Police Quest 4. Last time, we uh, found out some interesting information. Given all the clues we've been given, there's a chance we are looking for a female murderer. Very, very interesting. So let's see what a uh, good friend here has to say about the latest autopsy results. Sam, do you have DNA results back on the bone found in Griffith Park? I haven't received the results from SID, but from my years of experience, I have to say that the bone is definitely human. Given the measurements of both the bone and the body found at the park, they're a match. Weird. Has autopsy occurred on John Doe 7216M? Yes, John, it was first this morning. The gastrointestinal tract was ruptured, as I suspected, and also, as I suspected, there was no asphyxiation. The nylons wrapped around the neck were in no way connected to the cause of death. It looks like poisoning. Fluids were taken and sent out. And nylon stockings, high heels, um, that shoe, with the fact that, uh, that little girl was talking about seeing a pretty lady walking around. Has identification taken place on the John Doe? No. We've sent the prints out for a national search. There must be someone, somewhere, missing a father, brother, or husband. Is there any preliminary report on the fluids? No, John. They only went out this morning. However, I am not hopeful for a match. You know, John, there are thousands of poisonous substances out there. Many have yet to be identified and catalogued by the scientific community. It's like hunting for a needle in a haystack. Well, that's not helpful. Sam, has the autopsy been performed on Jane Doe 1202L? The body is being prepped as we speak. I'll be getting started soon. Sam, has anyone identified or claimed Jane Doe 1202L? No, John. I have sent a copy of the fingerprints out for a national search. So far, no response. That is too bad. So not too much here, but uh, let's continue. Don't want to talk to you. See ya, detective. I'm really sorry about the newswoman, Detective Carey. Oh, whatever. Can we talk to her? Sure. Next time, just keep quiet. Don't talk to those people. They'll twist your words around, make your life miserable. Got it? Got it. Thanks, Detective Carey. All right. So let's head back to the Parker Center. And, of course, we need to put our ID badge on. You attach your Parker Center ID to your... Yeah, yeah. You press the button to... So first, we actually need, need to see if the, a full analysis of the evidence has come back yet. So we want to go back down to the basement. You select the bait And go check out our girl Chester. awkward calling her Chester. I know it's her last name, but it's like a very male first name <laughs> as well, so... Uh, oh well. Still better than Stinky. Oh, hello. Hello, Detective. How can I help you? Hello, Chester. Wait, one click was just Hello, Chester, and that was it. And then we get... Were you able to find anything out about the glue you sampled? Yes, Detective. It is an industrial strength glue which shares properties with the glue found on Hickman's eyes. The I problem with it. tracing the glue is that it's sold all over the city, not just where you found it. We use the same brand here at Parker Center. Oh, well. Maybe it was someone here. It was you, Chester. No, I don't know. Chester, I wanted a DNA run on the bone I turned into Nobles. What do you have back? Nothing yet, Carrie. 
And not to criticize, but you really should have turned that into property. You're right, Chester. However, I also need to find myself a killer. Yep. Chester, what do you have on John Doe 7216M? Body fluids have been sent over, but thus far, nothing on toxicology. Okay. How about Jane Doe 1202L? What do you have, Chester? We haven't received the body fluids from the morgue yet. We're limited on what we can do here, Detective. Unfortunately, we haven't heard back from Quantico on the other samples either. We're at a dead end. Y'all are slow. The vehicle the victims were found in, Chester. What did you find? Their body fluids, their hair, their fingerprints, and red fibers. Other than that, the car was very clean. Too clean. Nothing in the glove box, under the seats, anywhere. Red fibers, huh? But yeah, the murderer couldn't be Chester. I know we're talking about a woman and it's like, oh, it's probably Chester. But no, she's not a big woman. We're looking for a larger woman. Chester, how about Jane Doe 1201K? Anything come back on her? How about fingerprints? Well, she does have fingerprints. They just don't match anything we have out there for missing people. Hmm. And I believe that's all we can talk to her about right now. See you later, Detective Carey. See you, girl. Pressing the button, you call the elevator. Yeah, yeah, we gotta wait for it. Is it just me, or does this suit just not fit him right? It's like... It's a bit too baggy. You select the third... So as we always need to do, we need to fill out another one of those uh, wonderful forms. And give it to our pal Hal. Did I pick up another one of those forms? Let's see. I did not. So let's do it so right now. Oh. You take it through. Fill that sucker out. You fill out follow-up report form 3.14 with information concerning found arm bone. That's so why we need to notate it, like I forgot to do before. Here you go, Hal. Sure, Junior. And we also wanted to give a uh, report to our boss. We haven't done that yet. Come in! I'm glad you're here, Carrie. I wanted to talk to you about your newest TV appearance. Oh, that great. stunt in front of the coroner's last night was splashed all over the evening news. Obstructing the First Amendment is what they're calling it. I'll have you know I've already fielded calls from national news bureaus, the mayor, hell, just about anyone in this town who's anybody has called. Gary, you're gonna need to learn to control that temper. I've just about had it with this cowboy crap. Now this is a directive. You learn to work with the press, not against them. Do you understand me? Read my lips. Work with them. I'll screw the press. Lieutenant, it's not my fault. I mean, it's that reporter. She's always stirring things up. She's making my job impossible. Look, Carrie, it's a reporter's job to report the news. Sometimes that means going after the truth, other times not. What I want to know is, is there any truth to this killer being a woman? Yes, no, no more update, no more questions. I don't know if there's a right answer here. He says, is there any truth? I don't know if it's true. We don't know. No? You sure? Believe me, Carrie, I trust you. It's just I gotta be sure. I'm the one fielding the calls. Yes, sir. All right, then, we know what we're dealing with. Most probably a white male, aged 24 to 36 years of age. And somebody awfully vicious and brutal. Watch yourself, Carrie. We don't want to lose another one. You sure don't. Time's up. Oh, okay. Time's up. 
All right, so um, what we want to do is go back to the impound lot because uh, we have that other abandoned car that was found with the naked bodies inside. You call the elevator. Okay. You select the... I always have a, the hardest time getting off this screen. Oh, I didn't want to hit that, I wanted to hit map. Let's see, so the impound mod is right here. I love these sound effects, they remind me of a Quest for Glory, the first one. Well, the VGI remake of the first one. Good, good game. Can't wait to get a thousand subscribers so I can actually play those games for you guys. Because I, uh, I want a lot of people to be able to experience how wonderful those games are. Anyway, enough about that. We've already gone over that in previous updates here. <laughs> well, tell him McGarrett said, book him, Dano. <laughs> He'll know what it means. <laughs> Will he? Really? Hey, you whippersnapper! Can I help you? <sighs> uh, Dano? McGarrett told me to tell you to... No. Oh. He... he said... Ah! <laughs> yep. Whee! Uh... Come right oh, in he... there! <laughs> Had a little hitch in the game there. SID has been out, right? Were they able to lift any prints? Was there anything left behind? Fibers? Hairs? Hey, you dead burn whippersnapper! You're making me sound like an eavesdropper! Is that what you think, huh? Is it? Is it? Is it? Huh? Huh? No, no, not at all. I thought, uh, that a man in your position would be more than likely to know what the situation was with each car in the lot. Well, you're right about that, you dead burn greenhorn. Darn shooting. I'll tell you about SID, I will. They were here for hours. Hours! I'm not fooling you now. Mm -mm. And you know something? They didn't find a single print. Zippo. Nada. That there car there is just as clean and shiny as the day it rolled off the old showroom floor. Yes, it is. Has the car's owner been identified and notified that their car is here and is involved in a criminal investigation? No sure, Bob. There wasn't one speck of ID in that car. No registration, no telltale signs of nobody. Except maybe a ghost owning that car. Now, what kind of hoping you're gonna do a little of that sniffing around, you know, in Angelus here? I did not understand that last couple seconds of dialogue. <laughs> What can you tell me about what was in the glove box and trunk when the vehicle came in? Well, nothing. Absolutely nada. You're unaware of what the contents were? What are you, just plain dumb as a local weed? I said nothing. There was nothing in either compartment. Clean as a whistle. Shiny as a new shoe. Nothing. Nada. Rien. Zero. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, well, let's take a look at the car. Looking right at the license plate, you discover... That. Uh, do we make a note of that? Don't think we have to. You note the license plate number of the vehicle. Okay, but we didn't get any points, so I don't think it was necessary. But uh, you do want to remember that number. So the fact that it gives that to you... Well, once clue. again, you've been very helpful. Thank you. Hey, that's a big ten for you, bitch, you good buddy. Here at Hollenbeck Toe, we aim to please. <laughs> sure do. I'm sure. Oh, we want to go back to the Parker Center because we need access to our computer. If you remember, there was a uh, 
section where we could look up uh, DMV records, and that's exactly what we need. You attach. You press the button. That ID badge thing reminds me of my job. I need a an ID badge to like uh, swipe to get it through like all like the doors and stuff for like all the security purposes. You select the third. Makes me feel all important. I mean, I'm not, but it makes me feel like I am. Get on over there, yes it's slow, but I'm gonna make you watch it. I'm not gonna cut any of that. Oh come on. Just get off the screen. There we go. Well, if it ain't the boy wonder. Hal, how are you? What's going on? My hemorrhoids are acting up, kid. Big flare up, big flare. Damn job. That is not something we needed to know. A 286. Oh, yeah. Oh, I gotta get on my keyboard again. <clears throat> Alright, so our ID number is 612. Password is Gunner. And go to DMV. The license number was... E... Two B S Y six six nine Registration Central District Health Center Los Angeles County twelve oh nine Figueroa Ah so we have an address at least no name but an address All right, let me put my keyboard back down and uh, let's continue you call the elevator oh come on you select the Remember back in the day when you, you didn't have smartphones and you had to go all the way to uh, back to your office just what are to you look up something on the computer? Although, would cops have... Yeah, they would probably have like some sort of mobile device to uh, look up DMV records. Alright, so where do we want to go? There's a lot of now. Let's see. Uh, let's Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I thought that we had to go somewhere else first, but, uh, oh well. Alright, so uh, of course we ought to uh, show our badge. No identification is required, Carrie. Um, feels like county is a po- she can't hear you from here. Can I walk in? Feels like... How do I walk in? Feels like county is... 